Well, as we mentioned earlier, home sales are down, but with record low interest rates, people must be refinancing, right? Well, they're trying to, but because lending standards have become tougher, many are finding it a challenge just to get a refi approved. Joining us to talk about that is mortgage broker Vincent Ingui. Vincent, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Tracy. So it is hard because people are because lending standards have toughened up. So it's mm -hmm. hard when you say, "Oh, those are great rates," but nobody can get them because you really have to have a very high credit score, prove income, all of that. That's correct. It's like the ultimate tease, right? Interest rates are at their all-time lows, but yeah. you can't qualify because you don't have enough equity or because you, you uh, had some spotty job history. Right. There are some programs in particular brought through by the government, which are probably the most effective that have worked, but what I've seen have been the most underutilized of all the government refinance programs. And you say a lot of people don't know about them. They're called the HARP. Correct, HARP program. the HARP, okay. yes. Tell me about that. Well, they're both. There's a Fannie Mae version and a Freddie Mac version. So okay. simply stated, about 60, I would say, percent of the mortgages that are underwritten, especially the last few years, have been either Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Uh -huh. So folks that may have a mortgage through Bank of America or Wells Fargo or some of the lending institutions were underwritten by most likely Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines. So step one is figure out whether or not you have a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac underwritten loan. If that's the case, mm -hmm. you may be able to qualify uh, to refinance your primary residence, your second home, uh, even your investment property with m many times little or even negative equity in that. So let's go over the Freddie Mac requirements sure. for HARP. Sure. Freddie Mac requirements. Sometimes there is no appraisal required, and it's okay. at the lender's discretion. And sometimes even no income or no asset required. So the main thing is, have you maintained your payments on time? Mm -hmm. um, was it underwritten, obviously, from Freddie? Now, Freddie has a little bit of a nuances. Um, certain lenders are very restrictive that they won't take another lender's Freddie Mac loan. So an important caveat here is you've got to either find a mortgage broker or the same lender that has the current Freddie Mac loan. Okay. Okay, on the Fannie Mae side of it, um, almost mirrors it, but Fannie Mae, you have to document your income. You almost need an appraise on every single occasion, but on Fannie Mae, you can actually go as high as 125% of the value of your home. So if your house appraises for 200, um, you know, you owe, let's say, 250,000 or so, you may be actually still be able to refinance that without PMI and very close to where, you know, the interest rates are right now. Really helpful for the people who are underwater right now. And there's so many. I mean, I right. think the most recent is somewhere around 30% of U.S. households are either at or below, or at or above, excuse me, the uh, the equity position in their home. So to be able to I mean, refinance, they owe more that, than it's than it's precisely. worth. Precisely. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks. This is really good advice. I hope people take your uh, I hope your so advice too. and look into it. Thank you very much. You're welcome.